All right. What up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We are going to go ahead and give another market update. Uh, we're going to look at just SPY this time. Okay, the SPY. This is the S&P 500 index. Uh, this is one of my most favorite stocks to trade. Okay. Um, now, depending on your budget size, right? Some people trade SPX. Some people trade uh, the futures forward slash ES. Um, we're going to break down SPY because this is what the main thing that I've been posting in the Discord is these volume gaps here and here. These were key indicators of major support and resistance. Notice how once we got above this volume gap right here, okay, we shot up tremendously uh, yesterday, okay, in the previous day, and we hit new highs. All right, today, we're looking at a bull flag pattern forming, okay, and I was personally waiting for the breakout above the bull flag, all right, and we got a very nice rally to the upside. Before we go into the video and cover anything else, all right, uh, what I want to show you guys, all right, is actually my channel right here. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, okay, because I'm dropping videos as much as I can, as frequently as I can, and you can expect to see videos at least weekly, if not daily or other um, every other day, okay? Um, <clears throat> second thing is take a look at the profits today in the Options Trading Tycoon's Discord, okay? Um, we got Jay Garducci, and he's known for consistently getting about 3 to 5% on his overall portfolio every single day. Um, you know, the average bank, okay, you're only going to get, I mean, SoFi is bragging about a 2% APY on your savings account. Um, you know, meanwhile, this guy is getting three to 5% daily on his account, right? We can take a look at some of the other plays that we had today. Uh, you know, $1,000 profits right there. We had some Tesla 250 calls in the Discord. Those went up 100%. Um, you know, we had some SPY uh, 375 calls, okay? Uh, 377 calls went up 166%. Uh, these were some other SPY calls right here, October 22nd, uh, fifth expiration for 380, 170%. Um, you know, we can look here, 73% uh, gains, 39% uh, gains. Um, and you know, some more 56% gains, right? These were all just from today. All right. Um, in the discord. So make sure if you're not a member to use the link in the description below. Okay. There's a ton of resources. We have the tycoon analysis, right? And this is where, you know, I'm posting this stuff in the morning and I'm posting my layout, right? Spy one hour. We're coming down to the previous volume gap and seem to be consolidating in the high volume node area. As suggested in yesterday's analysis, looks like a bull, a big bull flag, but we have to hold 370 in my opinion. Now let's look at the actual chart, right? What do we see? Today, we saw a very strong pullback right around to that 370 level, okay? 370 is going to be this support level here. Um, and, you know, we actually bounced a little bit above that right around 371, um, you could call it. But, you know, we were looking for the pattern, right? And so I personally waited until we got the breakout to the upside. Many members in the Discord were able to buy the dip and time the bottom perfectly um, and ride that whole momentum upwards, right? Now, there's a few swing uh, positions that we have open, right? Me personally, um, not swinging too much, right? Um, in these environments, I'm much more of a day trader. Now, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen any of my previous videos, the first initial thing that we looked at for the possible rally was this descending wedge okay highlighted by this trend line and this trend line this is a bullish pattern right and then what we got was another bullish indicator we had bullish divergence right here notice how we have this low here highlighted in yellow and this lower low here highlighted in yellow well on our relative strength index we have a low here and a higher low here the rsi the relative strength index is going to show you the strength of a stock at its current price level. So when the price level is dropping, going down, but the relative strength is increasing, this is an indicator that you know traders are looking at to see if there's some bullish divergence and see if there's going to be a bullish pop potentially in the future. And sure enough, we did get a very nice pop. We blew right through um, our, our top trend line here and we're playing out to the descending wedge perfectly. So if the wedge plays out perfectly, we're going to get up here to possibly 390, all right? 389.26, right around 390, okay? We'll just call it 390 um, because the market likes round numbers, all right? Now, again, um, you know, I posted the bull flag in the Discord this morning. That was a very good play. This bull flag also can take us up to 390. So we have two chart patterns um, with a confirmed breakout. Okay, we have the confirmed breakout here to the upside off the initial descending wedge and bullish divergence. Notice how when we did drop today, all right, and we fell really hard, look at where we bounced on the relative strength index right along that bullish divergence trend line. This is yet another indicator, right, that you could have used. 
Now we've been paying attention to these volume gaps here. The reason being is because price moves very quickly through these volume gaps. Now, most people are familiar with volume by time such as this, okay? But this over here is actually showing you volume by price. So when you understand volume by price, you understand markets are gonna move from high volume nodes to high volume nodes, whether that's to the upside or to the downside, right? When we were at these levels in the past, we came down to the high volume nodes. Um, and, you know, today what we did was we consolidated right after we broke out. All right. And had our very strong breakout to the upside above that volume gap. We knew that this was the area. OK. And yesterday I mentioned I said spy is going to go up to 377 or 378. And we ended up going right up to 377, almost to 378.63. Um, but today we w went ahead and went past that level. Now, the reason that we weren't able to close above that level is, again, because it's the volume gap. So what this does is this creates a wall. OK, so essentially all the action is taking place in this area right here. And this is where all of the volume is. Now, whether that's buyers or sellers, um, you can't necessarily always tell. But what you know is that, OK, well, you know, the volume is going to die off here and we're either going to create a wall that we're not going to be able to get past and we're going to drop below, as we saw today. Right. We wicked up above, but the volume by price was not there and we did fall below. And lo and behold, what do we see in the after hours? We see the market is pushing up higher. Right. So we may see the market push up higher and open up towards this 380.94 level. Uh, which, you know, let's just call it 380. All right. And we may see it come there. If we're able to get above 380.94. Okay. We look really, really good to potentially hit 385. All right. That's going to be my next price target. And above there, we're looking at 390. Okay. For the whole chart pattern to play out of the initial bullish uh, descending wedge. All right. And again, uh, we have the nice bull flag pattern as well. And a nice breakout could take us up to 390 as well. So that's really what we're watching for. OK, we're looking at 385. We're looking at 390. We want to see if we're going to be able to hit those price targets within this week. We have major catalysts coming on Friday. The jobs report. This is the Fed's biggest indicator that they're really looking at, along with the CPI. So it's going to you know, have a big effect on the market. So we may see the rally continue until we get the jobs report, okay? Or we could pull back, but we need to keep in mind that 372 right now is our major support level, okay? That's basically the bottom of our high volume nodes and um, you know, right around the top of the initial volume gap in this area, right? Now, the gap was a lot lower. Um, it did look like this, but as more trading volume happened and the buyers stepped in at these price levels, we're seeing the volume node push out a little bit more, all right. And, you know, in the future, that's what we're going to look for right here. OK, we're going to look for the volume to actually step up and kind of fill this volume gap and propel us up to the 385. But again, keep in mind, you know, 380.94 is going to be that major uh, resistance level. OK, above 380.94, we have 382.76. Uh, the way I trade personally is I am a level to level trader. Um, and I mostly trade zero day to expiration option contracts. I don't swing, swing too much. So I'm looking for us to, you know, um, you know, possibly get a bounce off of this level here, take it long, take some profits here, look to take it long here. Um, and, you know, just take profit at each one of these levels and look to see if we're going to fall down below. And if we're able to maintain uh, bullishness and stay above, then I'm going to enter a new position after taking profits and ride it to the next level up. Um, and, you know, this really helps you out with not being surprised too much. You know, if you get a rejection at one of your levels, um, you can, you know, enter a short contract and ride the momentum down. And that's what I do. Right. And I'm in there and I'm scalping every day and I'm going in and out of the trades. Um, and there's lots of action happening in the discord. All right. Um, not only do you get the analysis. OK. Um, and, you know, you can, again, take a look at all of the different profit plays we had today. Um, but, you know, there's a questions tab. All right, we have the tycoon analysis and there's tons of data in the discord that you're not going to get other places, right? Um, specifically like sweep data. All right. And this is going to show you large institutional block orders. So someone put two and a half million dollars of Apple calls in at 10.03 a.m. today. Right. Um, that's a little bit of a bullish indicator, right? We're seeing Tesla calls 2.2 million in on Tesla call options, right? Now, we've been seeing these spy puts loading up, and this is institutional hedge fund money, right? This is smart money protecting themselves to the downside in case the jobs report 
comes out and affects the market negatively, in case CPI comes out and affects the market negatively, um, this is going to give you, you know, some valid price levels where we could fall to um, if the market does take a turn and tries to create new lows. All right. Not only that, but, you know, there is a stock bot. OK, and you can come in here and get any info you want, basically on a stock bot, uh, through the stock bot. You can look up the short interest float. Um, you know, you can look up fundamentals. Um, you know, there's a whole instructional thing on how to use the stock bot. All right. We have unusual activities. This is unusual option activity. You can come in here, see unusual option activity. We have the equity blocks and dark pool tab. Um, you're going to be able to come in here and see all of the dark pool activity that you, you know, not be able to see, um, you know, regularly, right? This is, uh, this is, this is paid for, um, you know, essentially data, right? This is data you have to pay for through subscription status. And, you know, that's all going to be coming included in the discord. All right. So link to join in the description below um, and I'm out.